you devastated I'm saying this to you I'm not getting into no arguments with black people over Miss Harris I'm not doing it because if you cannot see that we don't have a there's no the dichotomy here is the Ku Klux Klan or this black woman if you can't see that we don't need to vibe. We don't need to kick it. We don't need to hang. And most importantly, we don't need to know each other. Because I refuse to have a Negro around me who doesn't have the consciousness to know when his life is in danger. I refuse to have a, nig a Negro around me who isn't smart enough to tell or identify what is a threat to his own daughters. I refuse, I refuse to have someone who is so enamored with his relationships with Caucasians that they have lost all love for us. I refuse to call someone a friend who can't identify an enemy. If you can't identify an enemy, you don't have my back. You're not watching my back. I can't go into a war with someone who's sympathetic to my enemy, you're not going to kill when it's time to kill. You're not going to fight when it's time to fight. You don't go into war with passive people. You go into war with those who are passionately aligned with you. Kamala Harris is passionately aligned with African-Americans. She is passionately here. And even though my friend is not my friend anymore, I have new friends, those who understand that sometimes you got to leave some people behind for the greater good of your and your and for your own mental functionality and your own health. So you're not fussing about the same stuff over and over again. Sometimes you got to leave some people alone and you got to open your circle, expand your circle and find new friends. I'm not arguing with black folk over Harris It's either you with me or you're not. But what we're not going to do. It's fuss about if she's black enough when you voting for Trump.